On the international scene, Polas, an affiliated member of the International Association of Women Police, IAWP, marched members to attend the just-ended IAWP training conference held for the first time in Africa at Durban, South Africa. <laughs> Polas, arise and shine. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, hi, Lillian here. And to all of you, my returning subscribers, thank you for always coming back. I do hope that you will give this video a thumbs up. You know the police in Ghana are my friend, basically. I'm not joking, okay? I have told you guys instances where I had something to do with them and how they ended up treating the issue. That is how me, I like it. I should always win, right? <laughs> Anyways, I'm joking about me being the winner always. Yeah, but I've always talked about the Ghana police service, how I like them, yada, yada, yada. I have said a whole lot about them. So today, just because my mind is always busy, I said, okay, let's go and peep and see if there are videos online where they are training where they are doing their recruitment exercise how they get a regular me to become a police officer should in case i want to i mean in ghana i said okay let me go and peep and see how the training exercises goes maybe if i'm not too old i can apply to join <laughs> that was it nothing more so i decided to go and trust me the first step is let's take a look at the first step and see how the recruitment process goes the very beginning i mean the soft side of it first and they will get to the real life let's go <laughs> the recruitment exercise in the greater Accra region saw thousands of applicants converging on different designated centers to reduce crowding and pressure on the police personnel handling the process the first stage of the exercise involved body screening and reconciliation of documents first of all the applicants are given numbers and this is the order in which they will be attended to so as you can see they will be moved from the entrance all the way to the center where the exercise is taking place for the body screening here the officers check for tattoos scars excessive piercings deformity and obesity mm, congratulations to you guys okay Mm, you're coming to join the police right congratulations let's clap for them i mean they deserve a round of applause see <laughs> but i don't know if they knew about this we don't want to know how you got here whoever brought you here we don't want to know keep it for yourself you understand yes, Mm, you were not informed i mean they didn't tell you okay so that is it and there is no way out so you are in is you are in no going out no backing down you are in you are in so that's it but basically let's just tour and see how their campus looks like this is just one of them in accra i do not know how many they have and in how many which region which region and which region has a police training school this is one of the one in accra let's take a look at the campus and then i'll be back <music>
nobody nobody told you right that it's not going to be easy for a police as disciplined as the Ghanaian police service i didn't i'm not expecting anything less by the way is what i'm putting out here is just one third of the reality that is out there lots of video, lots of videos that i saw online the ones i could use and the ones i cannot use there are lots of them online but this is just a few of the many videos that i saw online <laughs> Do you still want to train? Feel like we should know the process, how they got here. Maybe when next you see a police officer with a dog standing or looking, making you wish. I wish it's me. You will know how they got there. So let's go and take a look at more and I'll be back. <laughs> I think you should join okay you should join as for me i'm going to join but this is the part i'm interested in take a look at my favorite parts here <laughs> the soft life yeah that is the part that i'm interested in the entertainment part that is the part i want to do okay the other part you should do it and do it on my behalf okay i want to be admiring you meanwhile while i was doing research to get videos for this video i stumbled on something really unique about the ghana police service i mean they are women i had wanted to do like a separate video talking about how 
well celebrated and respected the Ghanaian woman is I think I've done one or two videos about that so I feel like I'm doing too much so let me just chip in in here you know let me bring this into this this is about the police I mean the women police in Ghana their association and I feel like I should put it out there for you guys to see <laughs> Since 1910, when Mrs. Alice Devin Wells of Los Angeles first wore the tag as a policewoman, the history of female participation in police work across the globe has been given greater impetus. POLAS, an association of policewomen in the Ghana Police Service, was formed principally to engender the recognition of policewoman's competence and preparedness to assume positions of trust and responsibility by proving equal to the tax of policing. POLAS started uh, in the year 1989. I was there not in uniform, but I was the most senior female police officer. So to be able to get all of them together, uh, Dr. Bruce and I thought it twice to form an association. The year before, we helped the police wives to form an association. This is Police Wives Association. So 1989, July, we gathered all of them together and then we had the association inaugurated. 2001 was a major turning point for police women because that was when we had our first commissioner of police. Either to, we could only go to, uh, up to assistant commissioner, but then somebody was promoted to deputy commissioner, one lady was promoted to deputy commissioner, and then in 2010 to commissioner of police. And that was the highest one so far. 25 years ago, Polas was born. And this brought out the elevation of women into management positions. Women have now, since then, have been able to occupy up to the highest level of acting Inspector General of Police. Presently, we have several women who are occupying very enviable positions of management. So the first 12 police women have not disappointed us and the nation. They left very good impression of what women can do in the service. And our predecessors and those of us in the service now have lived up in their uh, steps. We have two female senior police officers who are members of the police management board. And indeed, after the IGP, the next two senior police officers are women. So IGP says, and he's always flanked by senior, two senior police women. And we are very proud of this very achievement. Apart from we rising to the top management positions. Polas has also been able to establish a welfare scheme that see to the welfare of police officers, police ladies especially. And not only us, we have also looked up to, uh, to assist the society. We've adopted the children's ward at the police hospital We've done so not because it is our hospital. In Ghana, women are human. 
human too okay they are not just women they are human first before you identify their gender some people will be wondering why do you like your fellow women like that my grandmother was an amazing person my mom is a good person a no-nonsense one at that unlike my grandmom that was all shade of the best human on earth my mom have a combination of the best and the no nonsense and here i am with the no no nonsense and i have lots of siblings that are women and all my kids are girls and i like ladies uh, i don't know if it's because you know, i'm surrounded by so many women in my life both left right center back and front and here is me sitting in the middle but i like women a whole lot i feel like women we our own level in fact we are good people if we are given a chance to do something you see that it will be so well done and if we are given a chance in a country you see that that country will experience peace and that is why ghana is peaceful if you love your country allow us to take part in most of these activities give us a gun <laughs> give us guns don't say police women are not allowed to hold guns these ones they are carrying guns they are human treat us as human basically almost every african country is guilty of this in ghana i'm not saying it's 100 percent perfect for women but at least in fact 90 percent is okay but if not 100%, who is arguing with them? They are well protected. And I do hope that you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in another one. Ta-da! Ciao! Bye!